Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Me and MS. My name is Michael Drohan. Uh, for those of you who are new, I guess that's you know more or less everyone since I'm pretty new here too, being the third episode. Uh, I've been living with MS, multiple sclerosis, for 18 years, and uh, at this point, I wanted to share my story with everyone. Plus, uh, you know, let you know how I manage the disease on the day to day and what helpful tips and tricks I have and also some uh, product reviews and, and thoughts on things that help make my life easier or things that are uh, that uh, do the opposite of that. Uh, so it's with that uh, piece in mind, um, I'm especially excited about today, today's episode. You may be able to tell from the background there that I am a bit of a sneakerhead. i uh, really been into sneakers probably since since third grade. I still remember my first cool pair of shoes was uh, the Grant Hill 3s um, in, uh, in third grade, and I was super hyped on those. Um, but yeah, I've still collected sneakers every now and then. I try not to get too crazy, try to keep someone in budget, but it's getting harder these days with uh, the way the aftermarket and the way things have been going. It's also been harder to, to grab things for uh, for retail that I really like. Um, but okay, uh, aside from all the, the sneaker industry complaints and talk, uh, like I said, I am excited about today and how sneak, being a sneakerhead ties into today. Today we're going to review the brand new release, re-release Nike Go Fly Ease. Uh, this is a pretty revolutionary design. Uh, Nike made, said they made it with um, folks uh, with disabilities in mind, um, especially uh, people with uh, you know limited hand mobility uh, to tie their shoelaces, like people with cerebral palsy or amputees, and really, I mean. I, my uh, fine motor skills have definitely gone, uh, started to go over the last few years. You can see my fingers, it's pretty, pretty gnarly uh, these days. Um, but yeah, so how, quick introduction on how this works. Um, I'll show you the other shoe rather than struggle with it right now. Um, so it has a rubber band, more or less around, pretty strong rubber band, and you can see that it's, there's kind of two pieces here. So um, the idea is you can step down on the edge um, and the shoe will actually uh, break into two parts. So no, uh, for folks with um, uh, limited hand abilities, it's easier to just do the whole thing hands-free. Slide your foot in, stamp down, the shoe comes back together uh, with the help of the band. The Nike Go Fly Ease project, they started back in 2015 and started, and started the program. So since then, they've released uh, a number of fly ease um, versions of models like um, the Air Jordan 1, um, which uh, kind of folds in a few ways to get your be able to get your foot in easier and, and uh, seal it up from there. They also have a cool technology on the new uh, uh, Nike Air Zoom Pegasus 38, one of their flagship running shoes that actually zips on the side and uh, allows you to get your foot in easier. And then rather than traditional laces, uh, has a um, interesting pull system uh, with the laces uh, pulling, um, pull on the side, the laces tighten, and then you're able to Velcro uh, that tab to the back of the shoe. But this uh, new drop, um, you know, is, is the next step in that technology. Um, this originally released uh, about a year ago, I think. Um, and there was a, a bit of controversy around it, uh, you know, understandably so with the new technology, Nike was, uh, hyped it up and, uh, it was eager to show it off. So you saw a lot of news stories, you saw it on Jimmy Fallon, uh, you saw everyone talking about it. A lot of YouTubers did reviews, um, with all of that hype, with the, the sneaker game, the way it is these days, it's sold out instantly and uh, resellers were all over it and posted it up on, on StockX and Goat uh, and eBay uh, to get those those resale prices. Uh, so this was disappointing uh, to see that they did not anticipate this and that the shoes did not get to the folks that they supposedly designed them to uh, to help. Uh, so, you know, Nike's uh, historically mum on these sorts of controversy type things. So uh, it was definitely a surprise and a bit of serendipity um, about two hours after I posted my first video two weeks ago, I got a Nike notification to my phone that the GoFiEs restocked in four new colors. So I saw that as a sign and I immediately jumped on, on a pair um, and got these uh, mostly all white uh, versions. So I'm going to show you as a bit of comparison 
how I put shoes on now and kind of get a, a feel for what I, I go through each time I do. You know, every, every shoe is different, but you'll get a general sense and then show you uh, how the, the rubber meets the, the road or the, uh, the wheelchair foot, uh, footstool and um, show you how, how to get these things on and off. Okay, which pair do we want to put on? Uh, we have the Yeezy Foam Runners over there. We have the Air Jordan 1s, Jordan 11 Low Georgetown, Supreme Nike uh, Blazers, Purple Pigeons. This shoe, if it was clean, it's probably worth, uh, you know, maybe $1,000, but it's one of my prized possessions, and it's a little dirty at this point. Anyways, uh, let's put on the classic Air Max 95 in the Volts colorway. Um, this this guy right here. All right, so here's my process for putting on shoes. This might take a second, so uh, may or may not speed this up. Let's see. First, lift up my leg. Now the Nike Go Fly Ease. See how this goes. I already, so it, just so FYI, it takes me a second to sometimes to pick my legs up. They are relatively stiff, so we paused the video to do that. But uh, yeah, to put this on, because I can't really guide my foot to stamp down in it very easily. So I personally still need to do one of these slip-ons. But as you see, we've got it all lined up. Then. Actually, it's lined up now. Let's see if we can stamp down easily. And still for me, it takes a little bit of pushing in, but we're getting there. And the shoe is now formed. Voila, it is on. So generally speaking, easier than a regular tennis shoe. Now taking off. You know, this is relatively simple for me for most pairs of shoes. Just slip it off that's what I do this one I'm going to do this loop my finger around this back loop pull back slips off <laughs> there you go ready to slip back on when it's time to wear shoes again so overall thoughts on the go fly ease I think the technology is great here this is definitely a, a revolutionary shoe there's nothing else really out there like it. Um, and it goes a long way to, to helping to helping folks. Uh, with that said, this isn't a be all end all shoe. Um, this, you know, is a pretty uh, uh, out there design, if you will. Uh, you should see the other colorways. It's a lot of crazy color blocking and, and sporty. Um, you know, definitely a, a athletic sneaker. Um, so it's this specific model is not for everyone and I think the people even it was made for you know are probably not going to wear this shoe for everything in their life uh, with that said this is a first generation of this technology so they deserve some some praise for for putting it together and I'm excited to see what comes from it disability and products designed to help with disability is definitely not a one-size-fits-all so for me I you know, don't have the ability to stamp down on, on uh, the edge and lift it up, or uh, I can stamp down and put the shoe back together. But this band is pretty tight, so it's a little, a little, just you know, a little difficult there. But I mean, you want to, you want to keep the shoe together. But um, so hopefully, in, in the future with this technology, they can either institute some sort of more adjustable band um, tension or uh, another. Um, uh, piece to that um but yeah definitely check it out if you're interested if this catches your eye technology wise or you want to you want to flex on your friends with with something crazy um or or yeah it's it's a it's a fun shoe so yeah thanks for tuning in this week and like and subscribe and hope to see you next week thanks